Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. Well, today we are addressing a question that I got from a viewer uh, based on my previous NCloth video. And the question was, can you do something similar with sales on, let's say, a pirate ship? And how would you do that? And how would you make sure that the sales wouldn't fall and all that kind of good stuff, right? So yeah, uh, we got a setup here, uh, very straightforward, very simple, but it illustrates the point and you can see that it's working nicely. And I'll show you how to do that, right? Okay, so we're just gonna hit stop here. We're gonna jump back to frame one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to end cloth and I'm gonna remove end cloth. So we can take all of this. We don't need that, we don't need that. And we can delete all of it. So right now, if I hit play, nothing's going on. Okay, cool. Now, what do we got? We got a flag up here. We got a sail here, and that's all we have. And then we got this frame, which is very, very straightforward. Now, what you need to make sure is that your frame is, uh, that this frame is in front of that frame. Otherwise, your sail will cut into the mass and it will look uh, bad. This is, uh, of course, it has gaps in the middle and all that, but you would model ropes and everything else. And then, of course, the sills would be attached to the mass, but I'm keeping them uh, free from it, so you can see exactly what I'm doing, right? Okay, cool. So what do we do first? Well, first we turn everything into end cloth. So this, this, and this. So we're gonna go to our FX menu. We're gonna go to end cloth. We're gonna go and create end cloth. Now, if we hit play right now, everything will fall straight down. And will fall straight down because of um, the gravity, right? If we look in here in the end cloth, the gravity is 9.8 meters per second square, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is the normal gravity on Earth, and that is why it is falling down, okay? And then, uh, let's see, there is a wind direction already set here. I'll set that to zero. So that's all set to zero. So what we need to make sure of first is that they don't fall down. So we're gonna jump back to frame one and we're gonna fix them in place. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click and go to vertex and we're gonna drag select this vertex row, shift select the next guy, right click vertex, shift select the four corner vertices like this, shift select the next guy, right click, vertex, top one, bottom one, bottom one, top one. So we have all of these selected. Now, how do you fix them in place? Under FX, you're gonna go to end constraint and then transform constraint. all right? So now if you hit play, it will fall down, right? And the reason why that is bulging out, and I'll try to just uh, stop that from happening. All right, so that's good. That's good. Should be all good. Anyway, so it's staying in place. That's important right now, okay? So we're gonna hit play, and there you go. It kind of bounces and it's bulging out a little bit, right? Okay, so how do you make it respond to wind? Well, the cool thing is if you go into the end cloth here and you go to nucleus one, you have air density and wind speed and wind direction, okay? Now, we want wind to blow uh, into the sill. So down here, the direction we need is Z or Z, right? So X, Y, Z. So we're gonna set that to one. And then the wind speed and the air density, I can change that as well. Wind speed is set to eight right now. 
we can go a little higher let's say 12 and uh, air density i'm going to leave alone and we're just going to hit play and see what happens okay what's happening first is it's caching out the simulation that's why nothing is going on so if i hit stop and i jump back to frame one and i hit play you'll see this orange line build up underneath i think mine's already done hit play there you go our flag is responding our cells are responding right so that's basically all there's to it right and it's very very straightforward now i can make this uh, simulation longer if i like uh, that will have to, have to be cached out of course so hit stop jump to frame one there's my orange line going we'll give that a second and depending on your system it will be faster or slower but there you go and then we're going to go and hit play. That's all there's to it. Now, if you want to save this out as a static, right? So you don't want it to be an end cloth. What you can do is just go in here and grab all these guys. And you can go to edit, delete by type, history, right? Now, if you hit play, nothing will happen. It will just stay in place. So that's how simple that is. Now, the next question is probably, yeah, but the backside of the sills are black, right? How do you fix that? Well, you can give it some thickness to start with. Right now, for example, I can add the thickness after the fact, so after I deleted the history. But what you can do is make sure that your starting point is with um, thicker material. So instead of having the flag black on one side, I could take, let's say, a plane and move that up like this. And there's one black side here on the bottom. So I would just simply go and extrude that. So let's do 0.2. Oh, that's a bit much. 0 0.02. 0 0.02, something like this, right? And you can turn this into an end cloth as well. So you can go under FX to end cloth and then create end cloth. And we'll uh, just take a corner here. And so there you go. Object mode. Hit stop. Jump to frame one. Hit play. There you go. Now, when you do that, you see in some areas some clipping going on, right? And I believe there are settings that will allow you to avoid self-collide, right? And let's see if I can find that quickly on this guy. And let's see here. Collisions. Collide and self-collide, right? I think if you turn off self-collide then you should be okay actually it's the opposite you need to turn it on now it's clipping all over the place right so you turn on self-collide basically that you want to avoid that it sounds a bit counterintuitive but hit stop jump back to frame one it works pretty good i wouldn't say perfect there's a little bit of clipping going on there where that stretch is going on but that's how you do that. So hit play again. And of course, if you increase the density of your material here, so if you bump at that subdivision level, it will look a whole lot smoother instead of this uh, kind of square looking piece of cloth, right? Anyway, yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, hopefully you can have some fun doing this. I certainly did. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see next, all right? Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.